All right, it's been a while. Hi everyone, my name is Quincy, I work with Speedlight, and today's video is going to be a bit different from the regular videos that we've been uploading so far, if you've seen them. It's not gonna be a demonstration video, it's more likely going to be a video where we are going to be reviewing different places and spots in Second Life generally. Some of the places, some of the beautiful places that got my attention, some of the helpful places that you might find useful. We also have a new 3D rendering system that will essentially allow us to review a lot of places in Second Life to enjoy the sights and the beauties that these places have. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, one of the places that got my attention so far is a place called Photo Cafe. And it is just filled with artistic vibes. And from the perspective of a longtime Second Life user, I just love how much, how much attention to details has been provided to this place. Uh, let's give the let's give the world some time to load in so that you can see it yourself. Um, so I just love how beautiful this place turned out to be. There's so much dedication and so much work that has been put into this place. And this spot where I'm standing currently is the particular spot that got my attention. I believe this is a club of sorts, but it's quite different from the regular clubs that that I've seen so far. I can see how the designer of this place, you know, did not overcrowd the spot with the necessary club equipment so it would stay as minimalistic as possible. And so it feels like the spot just fits perfectly with the, the general artistic environment around me. So you can see there's there's a bar that I could interrupt with. There's a there's also a person sitting at the bar, I believe. And I really love it. It's so much genuine and there's a lot of possibilities in this place around me generally that allows taking memorable photos and profile pictures even for that matter. You can see as the world is like slowly showing the beauties that it has to offer. I just love how this place gives you all the opportunities to enjoy the art that the designer has put in while building this place, but it also allows you to create art yourself as well so this place is called photo cafe it's really beautiful it has so much potential and so much sightseeing that you can that you can enjoy definitely give this place a visit all right now moving on to a place called builders brewery and this spot this place is one of the most long-standing places in second life and that fact alone is just purely amazing i believe this place has been around for about 20 years i think if nothing else this this place is is just one of the historical places to come to visit in second life but unlike photo cafe this place does not have that much artistic environment and approach to its infrastructure but this place is all about helping builders and scripters learn how to create they have a very active group community where they help out each other with questions and they also hold i believe classes and events where they i assume workshop some of the topics on how to build and create as you can see there's like a, a schedule of classes and information where you can check and come to visit by yourself if you're a person that is interested in building a second life i know from my own experience that building in second life is actually quite a lot lot to observe at the start so definitely give this place a visit if you're interested in building this place will definitely help you to get a, a general kickstart on how to build in second life so as a last place to visit i chose to give a place called berkham hopefully i uh, pronounced that right i I decided to give this place a try. It is it is a spot that has a lot of uh, photogenic possibilities. This place is where mostly people come to, I'd say, relax and chill or socialize with the other visitors or, with, or they can bring along friends. It also has a lot of beautiful locations which allows taking pictures. But what I really liked the most is how neatly this place has been designed and terraformed as well it is almost like 
remote island that uh like gives you the vibe of like it is off the grid and you can just come here to relax and chill with the other people it has been also a work of dedication that i can see there's a lot of there's a lot of work has been put into this place and it also has a lot of sightseeing there's a lighthouse i believe somewhere around this place which is also quite beautiful and you can come here to just enjoy and relax it's just so vibrant you know it is it is a beach it is beautiful and there's a lot of people that come here to 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 enjoy the spot um so yeah if you're if you're a traveler in second life this is one of the spots to go to it is really beautiful and it is called Birkham. hopefully again hopefully i'm pronouncing it right all right, so that has been it so far. The places that I've visited around Second Life definitely has much more interesting stuff to surprise you with than I was able to show you guys. We will be doing reviews of a lot of interesting locations around Second Life. So if you've enjoyed the video so far, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Also, if you have a place you think we should visit and cover for our next video, make sure to send us a message. Places that I visited will be also in the description for this video if, if you want to check it out by yourself and i'm quite excited for what's about to come for the next upcoming video so please stay tuned and thank you for choosing speedlight